Can you imagine standing in front of a machine so massive it towers five stories high? You'd probably look up in disbelief, wondering if it was built by humans or dropped in from another planet. But this isn't science fiction, it's the CAT 6090 fluorine monosulfide, the world's largest and most powerful hydraulic excavator ever designed for series production. Rewind to 1995, when Syncrude Canada, a major player in oil sands mining, needed a machine that could handle the extreme conditions of northern Alberta. RH-400 Hydraulic Excavator When the RH-400 burst onto the mining scene, it immediately changed the game. This massive hydraulic excavator wasn't just another piece of heavy machinery, it was a bold statement of innovation. With a price tag of around $7 million, it offered a more budget-friendly option compared to traditional cable shovels, some of which cost upwards of $10 million. But lower cost didn't mean compromise. The RH-400 delivered exceptional mobility and cutting-edge engineering, designed to thrive in some of the most unforgiving conditions on Earth. Engineered specifically for the frigid winters of northern Alberta, the RH-400 underwent thoughtful design tweaks to handle extreme cold and rugged terrain. Its bucket, car body, and hydraulic systems were all meticulously built to withstand the harsh climate without sacrificing performance. Just two years after development began, in July 1997, the prototype was unveiled at the O&K facility in Dortmund, Germany. This launch knocked the mag off the top spot and established the RH-400 as the world's largest hydraulic shovel, an achievement that would send ripples through the industry. After passing rigorous factory testing in Germany, the machine was disassembled, shipped across the Atlantic, and delivered to Canada in August 1997. Incredibly, the same O&K team that built it reassembled the RH-400 on site in just 10 days, a record-setting feat for a machine that weighs over 900 tons. It didn't take long for the excavator to prove itself in the field, showcasing its brute strength and refined precision to its new owners. By December of that same year, confidence in the RH-400 was so strong that a second unit was approved for purchase. Around this time, O&K's mining division was acquired by Terex, a major American equipment manufacturer headquartered in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Despite the corporate shift, the RH-400's design and production remained largely untouched, continuing to impress on worksites around the globe. Adding to its legendary status, the RH-400 even found its way into Hollywood. Thanks to CGI wizardry, it appeared as a towering robot in the Transformers movie franchise, proving that its reputation wasn't just limited to mining circles. With its blend of power, precision, and cinematic fame, the RH-400 has secured its place as one of the most iconic excavators the world has ever seen. Terex RH-400 Built in Dortmund like all O&K machines before 2009, the Terex RH-400 made a major impact on global mining. Branded as the Texas O&K RH-400, only 11 units were produced during this time. One upgraded version, made for Canadian Natural Resources Limited, featured a longer boom, extended stick, and wider tracks for lower ground pressure. Perfect for Canada's tough oil sands. The RH-400 also went to work in Australia, with four units sold to Citic Pacific Mining. These machines powered the country's largest magnetite operation, shipping high-grade ore to China's steel industry. In late 2009, Terex sold its mining division to Bucyrus for $1.3 billion. During that short ownership, RH-400 No. 12 was built with plans for a new look. But before it launched, Caterpillar shook up the industry with a $7.6 billion buyout of Bucyrus. That same RH-400 was rebadged and released as the CAT 6090, same power, new name, and a legacy that keeps on digging, CAT 6090 FS. The CAT 6090 FS isn't just a mining machine, it's a landmark of engineering. Towering as high as a five-story building, it dwarfs most other excavators on the market. Put it beside a 46-ton Lieber, and the comparison looks almost comical, like a Mini Cooper next to a dump truck. With an operating weight of over 1,000 tons and a fuel tank that holds an incredible 4,330 gallons, this hydraulic shovel isn't playing around. 
Filling that tank in the U.S. would cost nearly $188,000 based on current fuel prices, underscoring the sheer scale of its operations. Despite its weight, the CAT 6090FS can still move, reaching speeds of up to 1.2 miles per hour. A slow crawl by highway standards, but more than enough when you're relocating a mechanical titan across a mining site. When it comes to digging power, this beast delivers. Its shovel holds up to 68 cubic yards of material, allowing it to fully load a 363-ton Caterpillar 797 haul truck in just four passes. That kind of efficiency is exactly what makes the 6090FS a top choice for large-scale mining operations around the world. The cab setup is just as impressive as the machine's muscle. Mounted on the left side of the housing, the operator's compartment features cutting-edge controls and diagnostic systems designed for precision and safety. But beyond the controls, there's a full-service brake area built right into the module. During 12-hour shifts in remote, often freezing environments, having access to a microwave, fridge, water dispenser, coffee machine, and even a toaster turns a tough job into a manageable one. Lockers and seating round out the space, offering operators some creature comforts in the middle of nowhere. Originally introduced in 1997 as the O and KRH 400, this legendary machine has been rebranded and refined over the years, ultimately becoming the CAT 6090FS.